Yep, that's right. You don't need a fist slot. You know what else you don't need? Dumpster child, believe it or not. <sighs> Goodbye, my old friend. You had a nice run. All right, folks, so here's the map. Here's exactly what player one needs. Here's what player two needs. This is where you need to place your towers. I mean, everything is pretty much here. So you can do what you want with this map. You can screenshot it, send it to your friends, whatever. So here's the map, and I hope you can apply it. So today I'm going to be redoing Volcano Valley. So player one, you're going to need Chef, Fracture, Spectre, and Lemonade Cat. Nothing in the fifth slot. You don't need that. And player two, all you're going to need is Chef, Fracture, the third slot you can decide, you can decide between Cart Kid, uh, Slime King, or even Bite, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use Cart Kid because uh, why not? And of course, Lemonade Cat. Nothing in the fifth slot. You don't need that. Okay, perfect. So player two starting off, Mana Share. Mana Share with player one. Put in 160. Yes, 160. Skip it. Send. And then player one, you're going to be planting your, your, your Lemonade Cats right here, right here. Let me give you a visual. Right here, okay? So make sure you skip as fast as you can, okay? So wave two isn't that dangerous. So let's just skip it. Okay, hold on. Once it appears, once it appears, please, please, please. There it is, there it is. Skip. Send all the money, all of it, as much as you can. Plant your lemonade cats. Plant them right there. All right, perfect. Okay, since the new enemy is approaching, what you're going to want to do... Actually, no, wait. Plant the other fourth cat. There we go. So once, once we skip this wave, what you're going to want to do is plant your chef. So right now, we're going to skip the wave. Okay, player two, send in money gonna plant in that last lemonade cat all right we're now we're gonna put our chef we're gonna put him right around hmm right here and the, you want to put it far i you don't want to put it like in the beginning because otherwise the fast ones will overwhelm you very easily so trust me you don't want to do that for right now oh yeah also with the money upgrade him to level two so that way he could take out this little guy in one hit and of course, for this wave, you're going to need to kind of let it go. You know what I mean? Don't skip it because otherwise he's going to be overwhelmed. Kind of like hey, how he right here, right here, right here. Okay, perfect. He wasn't overwhelmed in that instance. But he will get overwhelmed if you keep skipping too much. So do not skip that much. Only skip when you feel like he can handle it. Or if you could see him handling it. But it'd be better if you can see him handle it. But as of right now, I don't think it's a good idea. So we're going to wait for it. Okay, perfect. He's killed the two goblins. All that's left is those three slime. I think it's safe, so we'll skip it. Okay, player two, send in all your money. And then here we go. We're going to upgrade this lemonade cat right here to level two. Perfect. I don't think we have enough. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so you don't need to rush to upgrade this guy. So what's going to come out is the spider. So he has 17 health. Right now, Chef can do 15 so it's, it's perfectly fine if you if you hit him once and he's left with two health and he makes it to the end. It's perfectly fine. Believe it or not, it doesn't. It's not that much damage. It's just two damage. As long as you don't hit zero, you should you should be fine. Even if you have one one HP left. So for now, it's it's good. It's it's not that much. So you don't need to worry about it. I'm currently assessing the situation and it looks safe. See, I th I think he yeah he could absolutely handle this too. All right, we're gonna skip this wave. To send in all the money all right so we don't have enough to upgrade that cat but we do have enough to upgrade this and that perfect so you're gonna always want to upgrade the most expensive cat so right now i'm saving the 800 for this this upgrade but again so far so good it's been safe it's been very very safe okay that looks safe to me all right i'm gonna skip this way send in all the money upgrade this again the most expensive the most expensive okay don't upgrade it by having them all level 2, then all level 3, then all. No, 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 no. We're going to upgrade the most expensive so far. Okay, since it's level 7, he could actually handle the ghosts in this in this state, in this level. Level 2 detection, so he should be fine. Actually, and it's the, it's perfect enough damage to actually handle the ghosts in one hit. Insta-kill. Right there. Okay, so we're going to be saving this money for hopefully this cat. I don't know if we're going to be able to upgrade her yet, but everything should be good. Alright, we're going to skip this wave. And it was enough. Perfect. All right. Now she's at level four. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to save the money for the third upgrade. Or I should excuse me, the fifth upgrade. But I'm not sure if I'll get enough money. But I'm pretty sure. Actually, yeah, we should we should get enough money. Okay. This wave looks manageable. I'll just wait till he gets right here. All right. We're going to skip this wave. Perfectly fine. And we have enough for the fifth upgrade. Nice. Okay, so it says the monsters are getting stronger, but we don't really need to worry about that for now. We can just upgrade this cat. 
Perfect. So what I like to do for assessing a safe situation is when all the faster mobs pass through is when I skip. So right now, yeah, that's perfect. All right, we can skip there. All right, send in money, send in money. Okay, now we're gonna upgrade you. Perfect. Okay, so here's where start things start to get a little dangerous. Okay, so I think the enemies from here on out are gonna have a little more health. Yep, they're gonna have a lot more health. So we're gonna upgrade this to level 1000, 20 damage. And we're going to upgrade it, give it a final upgrade touch. There we go, level 4. I am just waiting for these two goblins to get past the shrooms. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, just the shrooms. And we should be... Not yet. Actually, we should we should be good now. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so this way, we actually, believe it or not, just don't upgrade anything. Just, just leave it, just leave it. Next wave. Next wave, we should have enough money to upgrade the chef. So no worries, no worries. Okay, so we skip this wave upgrade hold on hold on once the money kicks in once the money kicks in and there we go okay so he should be set for a while now so now what we're gonna do is focus on our cats of course like, like i said upgrade the most expensive i don't know why i think I, I feel like it offers more as opposed to upgrading them individually now since they cost so much more so yeah just upgrade them irregularly most expensive i should say most expensive tower first all right, we can skip the wave. It's perfectly fine. I'm t Chef at level 5, he could handle pretty much anything. Okay, so by wave 16, all your lemonade cats should be complete. So the next thing to do is player 1, start mana sharing with player 2. So that way they can start planting their lemonade cats. And yes, make sure player 1 to share all your money with player 2. All of it. So that way they have, they have enough money to upgrade as much as they can. And just to give a visual perspective, player two, you're going to be upgrading them here. Just as long as it isn't right here in the in the middle road. Okay, so just, just, but it's safer here. So just put it here. Okay, so by this wave, wave 18, player two should be done with their, with their farms. And now what you're going to want to do, player two, is go back to giving all your mana to player one. So basically what you're going to do from here is just mana share. And player one's going to be putting all, all of their towers, basically, till they hit the max. Okay, so I want to give you an idea as, where, as to where you should put temper. So put them right here. I should say Spectre, but the skin is temper. Put them right here between the cracks, okay? Just right in between, as closely as you can, right there. So just to give you a visual, right here, okay? Right here. And of course, make sure you upgrade them all the way. Okay, next thing to do is to place, start placing your chefs. So you could either you could either place all your level one chefs till you hit the max, or you could place one, upgrade it all the way, place one, upgrade it. That's up to you, but nevertheless. For me, I like to put all my chefs down because it gives me an idea as to where everything should be and I like get, getting some time to put them down. I'm trying to cluster them all together. So please do not put them into irregular patterns. Make sure you put them close to the road as possible so that way it leaves room for other stuff. Okay, now we're going to upgrade them all the way. So that should take care of pretty much whatever other mobs are going to be coming through here. This chef, he could be sold, but just wait, just wait till all the other mobs are killed. But yeah, he, he'll be sold later. And of course, player two should still be sending you money, and this is to place all your other troops. Oh yeah, and by the way, fractures—they're going to be—they're going to be placed right here. Okay, so we're gonna put one right here, and another one right there, and we reached our max. So just just upgrade, just for player one, just upgrade all your troops, and we'll see you there on the other side. By the way, side note: it is completely safe to actually skip some of these waves, so. So well, yeah, you can go ahead and do that so that way you can get your money quicker, upgrade quicker if you want to obviously beat this 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 map as fast as you can. But yeah, you could do that. But if you don't feel safe, you don't need to do that. But I like to because I know these chefs can pretty much handle whatever's coming. Okay, all my chefs have been upgraded. All my fractures have been put down. Well, at least the, the max so I could sell out these cats. But not right now, not right now. And Temper, or I should say Spectre, has been put down. So what I can do now, player one, is basically just start mana sharing with player two until they put down their max towers so pretty much player two just copy the same pattern as player one place your chefs your fractures over here and cart kid he's going to be put in a special area so depending on how far specter can reach i would actually highly recommend you just put him like right around here so we're gonna do that right now we're gonna put him right yeah right here right here is good so remember when I said to put stuff very close, at least specifically the chefs, really close to the road? It's because you leave some of these little crevices where you could put, I guess they call them crevices or little areas, but this is where you can start placing your chefs in these little areas. 
Sometimes they'll be there, sometimes not, but it helps. It helps a lot. I pretty much ran out of space for the little areas and crevices. So what I'm going to do is start putting them in a line right here. Okay, so we're just going to put them right there in an orderly line. And there we go. I've maxed out all my shelves. So now it's time to upgrade them, of course. By the way, when you start seeing these dark skeletons, I would highly recommend that you don't skip in case you haven't fully upgraded your stuff. So I would just recommend that you don't skip because it kind of does feel a little dangerous when you start doing that because then they'll start stacking onto one another and it gets very good. So obviously from here, from this wave, don't skip. Okay, so all of our chefs have been fully upgraded. So now we're going to upgrade cart kit all the way and there we go. Next, we're going to place the two little fractures and that's the max. So what we're going to do next is basically we're going to sell our lemonade cats. But of course, we should wait at least one round, skip at least one, one round. Maybe actually, yeah, actually, we could skip this. Yeah, we could skip this. This is fine. So we're going to take some money in. We're going to sell all our cats once we get the money from them, of course. Okay, we got the money. So now we're selling, sell them all, sell them all. Okay, now pretty much what's left is you're going to be placing your fractures. So again, from here... Place them in a nice orderly line. Okay, and of course, upgrade them all the way. Okay, perfect. So player two is pretty much maxed out. Literally everything, all her lemonade cats has been sold. So now what you can do is pretty much manage share with player one. So that way they can actually do the same exact thing. Okay, player one. So what you can do here is actually start placing your fractures like right around here, believe it or not. So put them there. Don't put them any more further because I believe the temper doesn't have that much good range. I mean, you could put them in here a little bit, but and even on this side a little bit, but it's best to just put them here so that way they can reach both sides. All right, we officially maxed out on fractures in every tower, so now we're just going to upgrade. And there you have it. That's all. That's literally it. By wave 32, you should be done. It's really not that hard at all, actually. No fist slot, no dumpster child. This is all you need. And like I said, you can replace Cart Kid with Slime King or you can replace it with Bite. It's up to you, but I, I just chose Cart Kid just to, show, just to show you that you really don't need Bite on this map. It's very, very simplistic. And because you don't need Bite, I would just I would just put one of these towers, to be honest with you. But if, if you feel a little insecure, then you can always have Bite with you. And just as I said previously, do not skip these, wave, these waves because if you do, they're going to start stacking to one another and, and they won't handle this. So just make sure you don't skip from here on out, okay? Okay, so just to give you a good idea, here's Molten Skeleton. So this is his damage, I mean his health, and here's how much damage he's going to take. So right now he is dying pretty easily. He's going through the mob and he's pretty much dead from there. <laughs> It is absolutely amazing how much chefs do. Oh, good grief, man. The chefs and the and the fractures, man, they just do so much damage. Well, up close, of course. Uh, otherwise, the, their range just, just plummets. Okay, so I don't know if it's just me, but for some reason, Card Kid doesn't do damage to other... Look, look, look. Okay, he turns super. Look, he's zooming past, and they're not doing... Look, that one didn't even take damage. Like... Is he broken or is he only like or can he only harm like one one mob? I don't I don't get it. I mean his throwing seems to be fine, but look, alright, alright, he hits this one. The, the, nothing! Nothing! And I I don't get it. Is he broken or something? Or is this Or is this a nerf that he took? Because if this is a nerf, this is bad. This is bad, bad. Like really, really bad. I can't tell if it's just for this map though, or if it's or if it's just him, I, I don't know. Maybe it's best to take in Slime King after all. Or Bite. One of those two, actually. So Karkin may not be a good idea, but... Or maybe the one they fix him. So maybe, yeah, you could probably still use him. But just as of right now, not right now. Oh, no, they do. Okay, that's really weird. Okay, I, last time I had it where Karkin wasn't doing damage at all. I mean, he would hit once, like the, the mob that was in front. Like, for example, right there, and then they would take that 700-something damage. But then after he, he turns into, like, this sort of invincible cart, the 1,000 and stuff, it doesn't do anything. I don't know if that was just me or if... By the way, Wave 39 is supposed to be, like, the hardest wave on this map. Or at least the most butt-clenching, because technically th this map it has so much, so much of these skeletons that could cause so much distress, but... Not with this build, not with this build. And he's gone. He almost made it up to here. That's that's as far as he could he could get. Alright, finally. Wave 40. You feel an ominous presence. Yes, I do. 
Here they come. So one dark skeleton, one molten, the little nasty skeletons that he summons, and of course the molten skeleton king himself. Not bad, not bad. He's so slow though. Like I think I think this is the slowest boss. Either him or the, the frozen guy. I forgot his name. The frozen titan, I think is his name. Oh well. Wait a second. Did he not take he did not take damage. Wait, 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 wait. I literally just saw Karkin not do that 1,000 damage. What the hell just happened? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me let me see that health. Let me see that health. Okay. It didn't. He passed through. It didn't do damage. It didn't do damage. Did they nerf him or something? Okay, either he's broken on this map specifically, or he's broken in general, or they nerfed him. <laughs> Dude, it's just him at this point. It's just him. He's not gonna live. This poor creature. All right, let's see. Boom. Oh, wait, no, he does do damage, dude. I was high, man. Maybe because he has so much health, I couldn't see it. All right, well, he's being portrayed or praised at this point. <laughs> nope, he's being betrayed. He's taking too much damage right now. All right, let's see how far he gets. Let's see how far he gets. Okay, so, so far he's having a hard time getting out of turning here, at least I should say. Oh, oh, he turned and he's on his way. Dude, this damage, this damage is insane. And everything, he, every little skeleton he summons, it just, it just vanishes instantly. It, it's like as if, as if he just stuns himself. Like he punches the ground out of fury at this point. Oh my, dude. Oh my. Now he has like the health of a molten skeleton. Oh, there he goes. And he is about to die. Goodbye. <laughs> dude, he barely made it. He was like right here. Almost the same as wave 39 too. Oh, he's gone. Is his crown still there? Where's his crown? Oh, it's like in between here. All right, well, and that's it. That's how you beat it. All right, guys, that's how you beat Volcano Valley. You don't need Dumpster Child. You don't need a fifth slot. This is all you need, man. This is literally all you need. I hope you got something out of this. I hope it's actually even better than my previous tutorial because I know when I first made Volcano Valley, I needed you to have Bunny in order to solo it, but... I think now you can't really solo it so that that video has been outdated for quite a while at this point but here's the updated version i hope you enjoyed hopefully you can actually use this to your advantage and hopefully you can share it with others so that way they could use it to their advantage only two people again no dumpster child you don't even need a fifth slot for this one so there there you go see ya